our channel and here i'm going to show you how you can draw the auxiliary elevation of a rectangular pyramid how to construct auxiliary elevation of a rectangular pyramid so what we need to do first is to uh, draw the uh, given uh, views of the uh, uh, rectangular pyramid that means the uh, plan and also the front elevation so i'm going to uh, uh, take the dimensions myself for the uh, plan and the front elevation of the uh, of the uh, rectangular pyramid so let's see how it goes so what we need to do first is that we need to draw horizontal line uh, horizontal center line at uh, on this uh, paper and then we also draw a vertical center line like this um, so we have this vertical center line okay so uh, let's say the length of the uh, of the rectangular base of the uh, rectangular pyramid is um, so let's take it as uh, uh, 50 millimeters so the length is 50 millimeters so if the length is 50 millimeters so we uh, take uh, 25 millimeters uh, from uh, from here to the uh, right side so 25 uh, millimeters so this is 25 millimeters uh, to the left side and also 25 millimeters to the uh, right side so we have 25 here that is 50 and uh, let's say the width so the width is uh 30 millimeters so we take 50 millimeters down and we take 50 millimeters 50 millimeters up so here we draw horizontal line so we draw horizontal line here to here and also we draw horizontal line from here to here and then uh, we are going to draw a vertical line so that vertical line i'm going to uh, use my black pen to draw that at once so because we need to make uh, it uh, tick and then uh, this type of uh, rectangular pyramid is a complete uh, rectangular pyramid not truncated one okay so we uh, draw this vertical line and also so for the length so we are going to uh, make this length so we make it uh, a tick line from here to here and we also make this a tick line from here to here and then so we need to connect these diagonals together so we connect diagonals together so that gives us the um, the view of the slant sides of the rectangular pyramid as we see it in the plan okay so we have this now so i will number this point so this point is point one this is point two so this point is point three and this is point four all right so the next that we are going to do is to draw the front elevation that is how the plan will look for the complete uh, uh for the complete plan of the rectangular pyramid so we come up a little bit and we are going to draw horizontal line here like this and then so we all take um take our set square and here we draw a vertical line to meet the horizontal line and we also do that for this to meet the horizontal line then we take the height of the pyramid let's say the height of the pyramid so let's make it um so let's make it uh 50 millimeters so 50 millimeters so then we are going to connect this point so i'm going to make it a thick line at once okay so we connect this point together so we draw from here uh, to the apex of the pyramid and we also draw from here to the apex of the pyramid so it goes like this from here to here okay so we have that so then the base uh, line so we also need to make the baseline a thick line so this is the baseline okay so we make it a thick line so now um so let's go and produce the auxiliary elevation of this uh, pyramid so what i'm going to do is that i need to extend this horizontal line a bit and then uh, the direction of view the direction of view is very very important so we need to take note of that so we let's say let's look at it that we are looking at this object we are doing the object at an angle of um at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal so we have the arrow at this point okay so the angle here is 45 degrees so the object is being viewed or the pyramid is being viewed at an angle 
of 45 degrees to the horizontal so very very important so then that means we need to make use of 45 degrees s square to project lines in this direction so um so uh here we so as we are looking at this object so we draw um uh, from if we are to draw the auxiliary elevation we have to project lines from each point on the uh, on the given plan so that is what we are going to do now so from this point i will draw uh, this line so with my 45 percent square and also from this point i will draw a line with my 45 percent square and coming to this point i will also draw this line with 45 percent square and also coming to this point i will draw this line with 45 degrees s square so and then uh, also at the center here so we also need to draw for the center very very important so we draw this okay so we have this all right so uh this is okay so and then so the next thing i'm going to do is that i need to draw a perpendicular line to these lines so i need to use my 45 degrees s square to do that so this is it so i will draw like this okay all right so okay so this line that we have here so um okay so i need to come up here and draw a horizontal line like this okay so from the apex of the cone so then i will draw a vertical line so this okay so i will call this point this is point zero and this is point uh zero prime okay zero and zero prime okay so and so my point zero is here okay so then i need to get that of zero prime so i need to get that for zero prime so i need to um extend these lines though it's not compulsory for okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will take my compass and take this time zero zero prime this time zero zero prime with my compass like this okay then i will put it at this point and make an arc here okay so this point here is zero prime so which is meant for the apex of the pyramid so here i will transfer it so i'll transfer it here so i'll transfer it here like this okay so um all right so then the next thing that we are going to do is that if i'm looking at the pyramid in this direction i'm going to see this side I will see this surface here everything about this surface i will see it so i need to locate i need to locate this point two this point two i need to locate it on this line i look at it i by number this so this is one comma two okay so one prime one plus two prime and this is three prime comma four prime okay so if you look at this line uh two and three so they are on this zero down this zero so let's take note down this zero so uh so i need to locate point two so this is where we are point two on zero okay then point three also i will follow this line three so i have three on this line so i'm going to make this line i will make it a thick line from here to here i'll make it a thick line all right so i believe we are getting that so the next is that the next one is that i i am uh, we also see this surface here this surface that goes from three to four so i need to locate point four i need to locate point four so if i follow this line so if you look at this four is on zero so if i go up like this i have point four here and then so we have a line that connect three and four together so we need to make this line a thick line like this so make it a thick line so let's take note of that all right so the next thing that we are going to do is that um so next thing that we are going to do is that if i'm looking at this uh this uh uh this line this surface i'm going to see a slant line that is connected to this center so from two it is connected to this center so we need to uh, locate that center so that center is here so which is if i follow this line so we have it at this point so we have it at this point so i'm going to connect this point two so this point two i will connect it with this so it goes like this okay 
then we also see this line at 3 so which is also connected to this center here so from uh, 3 so this is where we have 3 so we connect it so like this then we also see that of that is connected to this center so we also uh, draw from here so to this point okay so let me so here we have what we have uh, let me call this 2 prime prime so this is 3 prime prime and this is 4 prime prime so then uh, if i'm looking at it so this point is hidden from me but i'm looking at this direction i will see this surface this surface but i can't see this point one here so i need to make sure i show it in my drawing so where do we have it so we have it at this point is where we have it so i will call this point i will call it one prime prime so i will draw this line so it is connected it is connected to directly to this point uh, so we draw from here as short dashes line so we draw it as short dashes line and it is connected to this point okay so this is how the auxiliary uh, elevation we looks as simple as i've done it here all you need to do is to practice thank you and god bless you let's meet i'm going to work on if it is a truncated one how are we going to produce it let's meet on that